just joined or if you've been with us from the get-go, you're watching Ford Auto Nights SEMA Show Special. Everyone who's tuning in today can download four free digital illustrations of the latest and greatest vehicles from Ford, custom created as a memento of the show. Just click on the link below to grab these free downloads. Still coming up on the show, we have some of the other irresistible stars of the Ford lineup, including big brother to the Bronco Sport, the Bronco, as well as the F-150 and the Mustang Mach-E. So stay tuned and stick with us. Now it's time to change it up here on Ford Auto Nights SEMA Show Special. After the fun we had with the Bronco Sport, you'd better wipe off the mud and zip up your coveralls, cuz we're going racing. Welcome to our performance lab. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, we're here to talk Mustang. Now this pony inspires unique passion in fans across the world. So we're kicking off this part of the show with a story from someone who knows what to do with a performance machine like Mustang. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Ken Block and this is my 1967 Ford Mustang Notchback, also known as the Hoonicorn. Ford has built such an iconic name and reputation with the Mustang. It has a history, it has great performance, and over decades they've built this persona with it. I wanted to modernize an older, iconic Ford race car and make it all-wheel drive to drive the way that I like to drive in rally cars and doing Gymkhana. Under the hood is a Roush Yates V8 powered by methanol and all the air is being forced in through two Garrett turbos. You'll see some very nice carbon fiber bits including this beautiful dash. My favorite thing about this car actually is the way that it handles and the way that the power delivery comes on. You'll see 60s cars all-wheel drive with 14 horsepower. This car to me is one of the most unique race cars in the entire world. I just absolutely love doing what I like to do because it performs so well. Awesome to hear from the head Hoonigan in charge himself, Ken Block. The Hoonicorn is a true work of art, am I right? It's no surprise that he chose Mustang for his greatest work. The legendary Ford Mustang has captivated auto fans for decades, and rightly so. But 56 years later, there's a new horse in the stable. The all-new, all-electric 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. Let's take a look. That is one sweet rocket, and a gorgeous one at that. The car we're looking at here is the Mustang Mach-E GT. Pure torque-drenched exhilaration with head-turning design, dynamic performance, and forward-looking technology. I hear it's targeting zero to 60 in the mid three second range, which I believe gives it supercar status. And not only is it a feisty little speed demon, I, I, mean, I guess I really shouldn't call it little, because the Mustang Mach-E is an SUV, and it rocks like one, with the options for both rear-wheel drive, as you'd expect from a Mustang, but also all-wheel drive, both with torque vectoring for exceptional grip. With the adjustable cargo load floor and 60-40 split-fold flat rear seats, there's more room for your cargo. And the front trunk offers even more space to stash extra gear for a weekend getaway. So now you can bring your partner, your friends, and your stuff with you on the go. The Mustang Mach-E also packs around 300 miles of range with rear wheel drive and the extended battery range. It also gets better over time, thanks to quick, easy, and wireless over the air updates that can be done from anywhere, even your own home. Meaning this vehicle will never miss a beat with zero hassle or downtime, zero gas and zero emissions. Exhilarating, easy, hassle-free. Welcome to the future of freedom. 
Now that we've seen the Mustang Mach-E in its full glory, let's go ahead and mess with it a little bit. Kelly, tell us more. Okay, for all of you at home, this is the part of the show where we leave our sensibilities at the door. I had to phone in a friend for this. In fact, two. Joining me in the studio are Alex from Fort Performance and a SEMA mainstay who needs no introduction, Vaughn Gittin Jr. Ford teamed up with RTR vehicles to hatch the crazy, awesome, and slightly terrifying Mustang Mach-E 1400, and it is a magnificent machine. Welcome, gentlemen. Hello. Hey, hey. You guys really took this to the next level. Let me get this right. We're looking at the Mustang Mach-E 1400, where the 1400 is the amount of horsepower. People, let me put it to you this way. If the Mustang Mach-E moves like a rocket ship, this car is like light speed. You know what? Let's make this a little easier to visualize. Alex and Vaughn, can you tell the audience at home a little bit more about this beast? Sure. To start off, three motors are attached to the front differential and four are attached to the rear in a pancake style with a single drive shaft connecting them to the differentials, which have a huge range of gearing adjustability to set the car up for everything from drifting to high speed track racing. It's a pairing of beauty and performance that really pushes the edge of what's possible. The chassis and powertrain are set up so that we can investigate different layouts and how they affect energy consumption and performance. Drift and track setups have completely different front end configurations, like control arms and steering, to allow for extreme angles during drifting. In all wheel drive, power delivery can be split between the front or the rear and completely switched between either one. It takes a little more than off the shelf batteries to power this beast. These are very specialized batteries. The 56.8 kilowatt hour battery is made up of nickel manganese cobalt pouch cells for ultra high performance and high discharge rate. The battery system is also designed to be cooled during charging using a dielectric coolant, decreasing the time needed between our runs. A production-based electronic brake booster is integrated to allow for regenerative braking and ABS, which optimizes performance. Mustang Mach-E 1400 features Brembo brakes like we use in our GT4 Mustang and a handbrake system designed for drifting, which integrates with the control system, shutting off power to the rear motors. Its aerodynamics are designed to no rulebook, with a focus on cooling, a front splitter, dive planes, and this massive rear wing. This thing looks amazing. What is it like to drive? You know, the first time I felt the Mustang Mach-E 1400 at full power, it literally scared me. You know, this thing was built to no rulebook, like Alex just mentioned. That doesn't happen anymore. You know, this puts down 2,300 pounds of downforce at 160 miles an hour. And since we're moving so fast, we've also designed the intakes to cool the electric motors and inverters. See what I mean? Thanks guys. And that's our cue to see this thing do its thing. With SEMA canceled, we can't show this baby off at Ford out front. So we decided to have some fun with it right here in the D. Many of you watching at home have already made a reservation for or even ordered the all new Mustang Mach-E. That means you put some money down. You've got some skin in the game and we wanna show our appreciation. So we picked one lucky reservation holder to come to the studio tonight, jump inside the Mustang Mach-E 1400 with Vaughn, and take it for a spin downtown. All right, everybody, meet Rich. Welcome, Rich. Hello. How are you feeling tonight? Excited or a little bit nervous? I've seen him drive. I'm excited. <laughs> Definitely scared. Don't worry, Rich. You'll be in safe hands. Vaughn is a legend and, of course, an expert driver. Vaughn, you're going to take it easy on my man, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, off you guys go. Let's do it.
right. They lit up the streets with that one. I hope Rich came back in one piece. That wraps us up on the magnificent all-electric Mustang Mach-E. But there's more to come. And before we move on, let's hear from a very special guest from Ford Motor Company, Dave Parasak. Hi, I'm Dave Parasak, director of Icons at Ford. Welcome to my garage. Dave, thank you for keeping the Mustang legend alive. Best Edsel Ford. We've got signed by Jack Roush, Brad Keselowski helmet. This is a keychain from Ford Rotunda in 1933, the World's Fair. I've got a few Mustangs in my car collection. Each one's got its own story. They all mean something to me. That's why they're in the garage. My whole life has just been messing around with cars, uh, replacing the whole engine and rebuilding it on my first car that I ever owned. I had older brothers and I'd help them work on their Ford Mavericks. I worked on go-karts or even when I work on my Ford Model T. All this I do on my own because that's where I get my enjoyment. We've been enjoying Mustangs now for 56 years. And if we want to do that for 56 more, uh, we're gonna have to make sure that we're using the right technology and looking at how we bring Mustang into the future. The Mustang Mach-E is super important to Ford to demonstrate what we can do with electrification, but it's also extremely important to the Mustang brand because it's our future. SEMA, to me, is the Disneyland of the automotive industry. It's where dreams are made and where the impossible becomes possible and people can express themselves any way that they imagine. The cars are the stars at SEMA and it's the canvas that people use to create and invent. You're experiencing all of this as not a company, not a person, but just enthusiasts together. And we get to share, we get to learn, and that's what SEMA's all about. This year, let's just have fun with this virtual event. Everyone can participate. Thanks a lot, stay safe. Thanks, Dave. To all our viewers at home, if you've just joined us, you're watching Auto Nights, our SEMA show special with all the very latest automotive action from Ford. Stay tuned. I'm telling you, still coming up on the show, we have some of the other stars of the Ford lineup, including the latest on the Bronco. So stick around for more mud splattered action. Rumor has it that Jay Leno might even make an appearance. Right now, though, it's on with the action. And when the going gets tough, we get built for tough.